Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back or for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Joanna the Medium or Joanna, I am a medium. Um, these are going to be your messages for the month of April 2019. I think on two videos I said March, uh, please disregard that, I was doing them in March. Um, so, but they are for April. There is, so if you hear March, um, it is April. It's in fact for April. Um, what can I say? Um, I'm, I'm gonna be very brief. If you guys would like to have a session with me, uh, a personal session with me, that information is down below. You know how to find me. Uh, for those of you who are my clients, thank you so much. For those of you who are watching, thank you so much. For those of you who are subscribing, thank you so much for giving me your time. And I'm going to state my intention. My intention is to give you something to think about. My intention is to inspire a thought. Hopefully a thought that will lead to a different conclusion that will allow you to have a different perception, which then will allow you to shift your reality. So that is always my highest intention, which means sometimes certain things will come in in terms of predictions, and sometimes it's going to be way bigger than that in terms of what's happening energetically. And based on that, you can decide how to use this information or this energy uh, in order to help you. So that is my intention for you of course it may not um, it may not make sense to everybody uh, everyone is different however I feel a majority of you will uh, be able to understand these messages at some point whether it's in April May or June or the following months uh, for some of you the energies you may have been feeling for quite some time already so it may be an indication of what has been happening uh, with you uh, keep, so keep that in mind. Um, and if nothing makes sense, don't worry about it, but do maybe check in down the road uh, because chances are it will make perfect sense to you. And also listen to your other signs. I also will say this, these energies uh, or the messages, even though they're by a zodiac sign, it is very clear to me, and that's what I'm being told, that uh, even if you are drawn to a certain sign that you don't normally listen to, um, let's say you click on one of my videos, you're a Cancer, but you click on Pisces, and I don't know, you clicked it because I don't know, you just clicked it, and then all of a sudden, there is some message in there that resonates with you 100%. Don't dismiss this message, because although it's not under your sign, it is a message for you, and therefore you're hearing it. So that's how I would encourage you to use um, use my messages. They're, they're, they're mostly about universal laws. It's how things work and how things are uh, being seen from a higher perspective, so to speak. Um, and I think that's all I have. Um, extremely, extremely transformative month. Every single sign I've done without a, without, without a doubt, every single sign that, I, that I've done for April, extraordinary, powerful energy of transformation. And um, I know that March has been kind of feeling that way. I have certainly been going through my own transformation and I know it's not over yet. Um, so uh, it was actually incredible to see that in every single sign. So with that said, I'm going to um, just move on and let you enjoy the rest of the messages. I wish you best of luck. Of course, if you would like a private session, that information is down below. If you would like to comment, please do so as well. I always love hearing them or seeing them. Thank you again so much for giving me your time. Thank you for participating in my journey. It is actually because of you that I am on this journey because if it wasn't for you, the listener, I would have, well, I would have, there would be no need for me to do this. So thank you once again. I wish you absolutely wonderful time in April and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, let's get started. Hello, beautiful Torians. These are going to be your messages for the month of April. For those of you who are having birthdays in April, like myself, happy birthday to you. And if you're not um, celebrating birthday until May, well, happy birthday to you in May, but I will say the same thing in my May um, messages. It, I'm doing this sign first because it is my sign and usually it is uh, something that gives me a lot of anxiousness and anxiety, so I resist it. And the resistant, resistance the, the last few weeks or a couple of months has been through the roof for me personally. And I feel like I need to share this with you for whoever is going through the same thing to I'm just being asked to share this with you. So if you are experiencing 
a tremendous amount of resistance. It's this inner resistance and you may not even be aware of what it is that you're resisting. I want to say to you that the month of April is, can I say the word phenomenal? And I also want to say the word life changing. And it is not often that I will say this because life changing is, well, that's quite big. And for some of you, this is what it's going to feel like, whether it's April or May or June or July for that matter, over the next several months. And I do want to go as far as the end of this year, uh, particularly in the next six, and I wanna say six weeks to six months from whenever you're listening to this, um, many of you will undergo tremendous shift and change, all for your own betterment, all for good reasons, but you may feel internally like you are resisting. So I chose to face my resistance head on and I said, F this, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to F and do it. So if you have been experiencing some sort of resistance with me, it comes out in feeling block in my throat and heaviness on my chest. So I know there is something I am about to release. It is as if a cork is about to be popped from a champagne bottle that has been um, that has been shaken. And we know how that goes. It creates a poof effect. And I'm kind of in the space of going in that direction, but I'm not quite there yet. So many of you will feel this this thing, uh, or you will, may feel something similar to what I feel. And if that's the case, um, I'm here to share with you that um, I feel it too, and it's part of this shift that we are experiencing. So the moment I tuned into our sign, Taurus, I was being shown symbolically the number 10 and um, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, to me, it symbolizes completion. And completion, and I want to say to the nth degree, which means that it has considerable amount of energies associated with it that stem from way, way, way back. So for many of you, and I'm getting chills, so for many of you, this will be symbolic of you struggling with something or an aspect of yourself that you have been dealing with for quite some time. For a lot of you, this is going to feel like something you have been struggling for most of your life, if not your entire life, something that has been affecting you. Um, whatever it is, it seems to be a deeply rooted core belief about yourself. And the base, the one that comes to me is feeling um, of not being good enough. This is something that I struggle with. And I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm saying this to you. I, I'm going, wow, I, I said it, boom, there it is. I made myself extraordinarily vulnerable. And uh, there's a part of me that's going, what are you doing? What are you doing? But I also know that in order for me to get past my own block, I need to allow myself to be vulnerable with you. And there are many people on YouTube, as you guys know, majority of you are amazing, but there are some people who, you know, what do they call, what do you call them? Uh, trolls where they will pop in into any given channel and give a remark that's, well, nasty and quite frankly, very hurtful. So for me to do this with you, knowing that's, you know, other things will come and I will be attacked. I am making myself vulnerable with you. And I feel it. it is going to lessen the resistance that I feel, but I'm also speaking to you. So if there's anything that you are struggling with in your life, notice which aspect of your vulnerability it pertains to. And I will go through the cards in just a moment. But what I do want to say is that we are Taurians, whether it's your rising sign, moon sign, or, or um, your other sign, significant sign. Um, we are approaching a time of our existence where we are able to pull out the weed from our gardens in a very effective way. And um, I wanna say with no restriction, I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm gonna leave it there. Which also means that 
if we do take care of it now, while the energy is ripe and ready and supportive of our change, we are less likely to struggle with it later. Um, however, I will say that it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And I do not remember exactly what the message was in March, but I did feel, uh, I, do, I do believe that it talked, that I was talking about um, things kind of being, uh, interesting in March and I have personally been experiencing a lot of internal uh, turmoil so I represent you I am a Taurus so I know that the reason why I'm saying this is because it's going to hit home with a lot of you if not a lot of you some of you but I know it's I know this message is going is going to find its owner so let me go through some of the cards Completion is being signified, which is what I mentioned. The Wheel of Fortune was shown to me in the upright position. So Spirit is very clever. I don't read cards, but now I know enough symbology around cards that I don't need cards. They just show me what it is, and then I kind of extrapolate the information um, as, I, uh, as I tune more into it. So there is a... I also want to say... And I feel like I'm all over the place, so I apologize for, apologize for this, but it's the it's the intensity of the energies, and I feel like I have so much I want to give you, I can't talk fast enough. At the same time, I need to pace myself so that I, I don't feel like this energy is taking control of me. So this is an important message for those of you and it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be an energy healer. You don't have to be a, a healer of any card. You 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 can be just a regular person like you and I and push and this energy is being pushed through you. If you feel like you are not, if you, how do I say this? If you feel disorganized within yourself, Accept what's happening, knowing it's not going to last forever. Try your best not to fight it and release the need to fix it or do something about it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when things are not feeling good, and I'm not saying anything is wrong. This has nothing to do with anything going wrong. This is actually with everything going right. And the process of, the process of that involves us letting go of certain perceptions of who we are. So for those of you like me who have had the tendency to be very doubtful and not feel good about yourself, like I have, that has been my life theme. Um, I can't believe I'm sharing this with you, but there it is. I don't even, yeah, it's very interesting. Point is, try to release the need to do something about it. Your job in the month of April is to write it out. And I feel like this is going to continue for some weeks or some months for some of us. So some of you may experience this in April. Some of you experience, may experience this in May. Some of you may experience this over the next several months, in fact, where you will have moments um, that will feel, can I call it slightly chaotic? But... The symbology of this is really important because we're, we're all moving in a new direction. We are all energetically being, um, I want to say the word revved up, which means our energy centers, I can't believe I'm talking about this, um, our energy centers are being healed with the high frequency that we are experiencing and I, I actually don't know whether the frequency is coming or we're just becoming aware of it or we're just shifting into it I don't know the ins and outs of how it works point is as we are shifting into this higher frequency as we are shifting into a higher gear so to speak certain aspect of our lives will have to be left behind and any kind of issues with authority that we have in terms of feeling like we are not in authority position or we do not feel authority within ourselves, any um, any connection to authority figure, any fears around authority figure, any fears around being your own authority, anything to do with reclaiming or claiming your power or taking your power away or giving your power away. If there's any sort of 
inconsistency in your thoughts in terms of what you believe you are, in terms of your value, um, chances are that as the time goes on, you will be releasing some of those long standing negative beliefs. And when I asked what is the most important thing for me to know for Taurus for April, the Five of Cups showed up. So for those of you who read cards, Five of Cups is, to me, it symbolizes poverty consciousness, not enough. And the idea of not being enough, it comes from loss. It comes from a perceived loss long time ago. So any feelings of um, not being enough, any feelings of resentment, any feelings of anger, any feelings of attachments to your past with respect to self-worth um, and the negative view of self-worth. This is what I feel is wanting or it's trying to be released in the month of April and the months to come. Five to me is also, well, it's May. So for some of you, you may feel this in May. And um, five to me represents changes. So I feel for majority of you, including myself, we are shifting the way we perceive ourselves in terms of our value. And I'm just channeling this information. And so the next card comes up is the card of death. How appropriate is that? And there is something about this card, this card in particular, that draws my attention. And when I'm when I was looking at it, it was speaking to me. And when I look at it now, this death aspect looks at me and says, what is it that you don't want people to see about you? Um, and it feels very ancient. It'll be different things for different people, but it absolutely connects to your vulnerability. And we're all vulnerable creatures. Nobody loves to be vulnerable. I just made myself vulnerable in front of you saying how I feel, but hey, my experience is going to help at least one person. And if I can just help one person with sharing my experience, I it makes my heart sing with joy. So death birth and rebirth, the snake is drawing my attention. And the moment I said it, it almost like it changed color on me. Uh, to me, the snake represents Kundalini. Kundalini is the raw power, is the, it's the, it's, it's our raw power. I see it also as a feminine aspect. So whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. We all have both male and female energy. But I feel many of you have been suppressing your female energy or your feminine power. And for various reasons, whether you are, whether you felt abandoned when you were young, whether you, uh, uh, you know, we, we all have many different experiences. We all carry trauma. We all carry past, uh, you know, shit, excuse my French, literally from the past. Point is, for those of you who resonate with this, it is a profound time for you to experience. Temperance in reverse, anything that is not serving you, any sort of emotional baggage that is not allowing you to feel at peace with yourself, I feel it's about to go. And I'm getting chills as I say this, and again, the idea of the cork about to pop out of a bottle, out of a champagne bottle, and having the pop effect. So before the pop effect happens, there seems to be um, almost like, um, how do I wanna say it? A built up of energy, which may feel to some of you like uh, uh, resistance. I feel it, like I said, in my throat, I feel it in my chest, uh, and in particular, because we are ruled by throat, Taurus sign is ruled by throat. That's our communication. Uh, it means some of you may have some flare ups in your throat, which means any kind of connection, any kind of um, stuff around 
thyroid or any uh, speaking things. Um, you might have problems with ears over the next couple of months. All those things are indicators to me that your throat chakra is trying to clear itself. Now, how it's going to happen with each and every one of you, I don't know because obviously I can't know. But point is, if you are experiencing any sort of feeling of stuckness in your throat or um, heaviness of your, on your chest, it is this energy building itself to pop. And the moment it pops, it's out of you forever until you decide to take it on again, uh, take it on again, which... I would assume you wouldn't because why would you want to take on baggage again, right? So all these cards, Five of Cups, the Death card, and Temperance in Reverse, all of these cards are symbolic to me of letting go of consciousness poverty. And it's to do with you, who you are, the value you give to yourself, um, which consequently allows you to attract different things or not attract different things depending on what your value system is or what you believe about yourself in terms of value. Um, I said, give me more information. Follow the leader comes up in this position. So in this position, follow the leader. You can see this path leading to a tree. Tree to me symbolizes knowledge. Um, the clock here symbolizes its time. This is divine timing. This is showing up because I feel this is what you're resisting. So many of you are leaders in the making. Many of you are leaders in hiding. And when I say leaders, I don't necessarily mean that you have to be the president. I mean, you could if you want to, but that is not what I mean. Being a leader of your own life, first and foremost, and then whatever comes after. So if you feel like your life has been out of control or out of your control uh, for quite some time, it's a pretty good indication that you are not feeling in, in you are, you are not, you are not feeling in control of your life. And there's various reasons why we don't and situations come and go. But at the end of the day, if we have a deep core belief about our value system in terms of not being enough, we will have very difficult time rising to the occasion of being a leader. And I feel that this is exactly what you are, what you are eventually going to let go of. It's an aspect of your personality, lack of consciousness, that you will eventually shed. And the snake, um, again, let me just see what's coming up here. What I want to say is have patience during this process. It's a little bit like giving birth. Um, even when labor is induced, you know, the, the baby take that nature takes nature has its own agenda. So this is not something that can be rushed through, nor is it something that can be stopped, which may put us, you, me, in a precarious position that feels like we're not sure we're not we're not quite sure where things are going or we don't have a firm grasp of what what is happening um, however this is what you are coming up um, towards wide open four and two forest stability strong foundation two is choices and this message to me symbolizes that many of you are eventually going to feel open to face the world which if you see at this lady looking she's standing on a rock and she is um what could be a, what could be interpreted as a top of a mountain and she the way that her arms are positioned and her body language it signifies that she is um, she's allowing the wind just to go through her. Her dress is moving green, symbolizes healing. Um, for some of you, third chakra, which is your solar plexus, 
a lot of healing going on there. So particularly for those of you who have any difficulties with digestion, any kind of problems with digestive tract, any sort of thing like that. And that's incidentally is your, uh, your powerhouse. Your third chakra is your powerhouse. I feel that some of you may be reliving some things from the past in order to push through this energy in order to make this temperance turn upright. And to me, this is about um, the temperance in reverse to me symbolizes emotions controlling you, you not being in control of your emotions. Okay. Um, harmony is another message and it pertains to your sacred chakra. This is all about trust. It's about trusting the process of your unfolding. It's about trusting your own evolution process. It's about trusting without knowing exactly what it is that you should be trusting. And it, am I explaining that correctly? I think you guys get it. So for those of you, particularly if you have any, if you have any crap, in your in your sacral chakra if you have had any if you have any situations in your life particularly around sexual abuse um fear around sexuality shame around sexuality any kind of fear around your feminine power any any kind of um shame around uh being a sexual person I f and I'm getting chills all over me. I feel many of you will be resolving this within you. Um, when we hold ourselves back for whatever reason, whether it's because mom and dad said certain things or somebody else said something, or uh, whether it's because we experienced some traumatic events in our life that has that have stuck in us and created this block, this block prevents you from fully owning your power. And I'm telling you guys, as I stand here, most of you by the end of this year, if you have any, if you have any difficulties with um, trust, trust, whether it's trusting another person, whether it's trusting yourself, whether it's trusting the process, whether it's trusting the divine, whether it's trusting your intuition, whether it's trusting whatever it is, um, I feel that this, the next few months offers the energy where solutions and resolutions will come about to help you free yourself from whatever has kept you stuck. Um, this card is freaky and it's kind of eerie, but I can't stop staring at it. It's almost like I want to stare right back at it and I want to say, okay, we're going to have a staring contest. Let's see who wins. And what I want to say by this is whatever comes up to you in the next few months, whatever choices or decisions you seem to be dealing with or grappling with, many of those may represent an aspect of you that wants to no longer wants to no longer continue to live in other words how do i say it differently please i hear ask them to pay attention how they feel for how they feel will give you a pretty good indication of where you're coming from in terms of your belief system so i don't think i want to go too far into that because um, everybody has a different way of interpreting this, uh, but it's important to pay attention to how you feel. Now, for example, right now, as I speak to you, I'm feeling this ah in my throat. I could resist it. I could just shut this computer down and say, okay, I'm not doing this anymore, but I'm choosing to hit it head on. So if this is something that you will be experiencing, when you're feeling uncomfortable, it doesn't mean there is anything going bad. As a matter of fact, it means you're about to pop. And I can't stress this stronger enough or more. I can't stress this enough. Um, is there anything I need to say to them? 
the best thing you can do for yourself over the next few weeks is to learn how to manage your anxiety, if you have any, by constantly, constantly choosing to relax your body. So always make a commitment to yourself that over the next few weeks or few months, you, you will nurture yourself. You will nurture your body. You will nurture your emotions. You will nurture your spiritual self, your higher self, your baby self, your ego self, whatever, your inner child self, whatever that may be for you. Um, I'm asking what's, 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 like, what's, what's going on with this whole nurture thing? Self-love. So you don't have to be a Taurus to, um, to learn how to self-love, but this is coming up for Taurus. And it actually just reminded me, no surprise, Uranus is in Taurus for the next seven years, and it is all about faulty foundations, or not faulty. It's all about skewed foundations, things that at some point served us, but it serves us no longer. So I'm going to leave that with you. It feels like an incredibly powerful month. Now, I'm also a Taurus, so I'm also speaking about myself, and I can feel it very, very, very powerfully. Um, so I'm hoping that what I said to you will um, help you through this process. And I want to stress this. It's not because there is something wrong or something going bad. We are heading in the right direction, uh, but in order to be open in order to be available to the world in order to be uh to show ourselves our heart to the world we need to first let go of some things so if you've been feeling for a long time that you're not good enough um it's time to let that go and each and every single one of you will experience this differently some of you will experience it a little bit more profoundly than others um, and that's okay. doesn't mean anything is bad is happening. As a matter of fact, most of it is internal. Um, it's just a feeling that I get. So I hope this does make sense. Um, man, it's powerful. And if there's anything else that you uh, want me to share about me uh, because you find it helpful, please comment down below. I will uh, do my best to do that for you. And with that said, I am going to leave this. I hope this was helpful. Please keep in mind, this is general, so it will not affect, uh, it will not connect with every single Taurus. However, um, I have learned over many years of doing this, that eventually whatever information comes through, it will come to pass. It may not be necessarily in April. For you, it may be um, May, June, July, August, or the end of this year. Uh, but it definitely shows me that there is uh, incredible transformative energy that is um, that is weaving through us. And it is almost impossible for us not to be transformed. It's almost impossible for us not to be transformed as long as we don't resist too much. Um, and we can always resist. It's called free will. But I would suggest try your best not to. Okay, and then I'm hearing wrap it up. So with that said, I am very grateful for you to give giving me time to uh, I'm grateful to you to for listening to me. Okay, let's put it that way. I'm grateful to have you to listen to me. Um, is that how I want to say it? Yeah, for being patient with me and for allowing me to share this and for your compassion and love. I really want to say thank you. Um, it truly means a lot. And I have a feeling um, things will be changing over the next few months. So I'm a little bit teary and I'm excited at the same time. I'm teary because um, I'm just full of love and joy and gratitude. Um, and I'm gonna leave that with you before I start crying. Of course, for private sessions, that information is down below, but you guys already know that. So thank you so much once again and see you soon.